what's going on youtube welcome back to my channel it's your boy jim graphics in today's video i'll be um sharing with you guys the best and basic tips and tricks for your design that will help boost your graphic work all right this is going to help um the beginners and um those interested to learn anyway so um actually you guys should be wondering how um, most of these things are being achieved like the the way we place um, images on shape like an image will be on shape and still kind of pop up like um, a 2d let me say 2d all right like it's gonna be on a shape and still pop out all right so some of you might be wondering how these things are being achieved so in this video I'm going to um, walk you through guys on how to achieve this um, basic tricks all right so if you're new to this um, to this channel all right if you're new to this channel please don't forget um subscribe share and basically guys this help my channel grow if you want to be seeing more of this encourage me guys to be doing more all right share and like subscribe to this channel please guys all right so i'm going to walk you through so what you're going to do is basically before you start this this um this stuff before you start it you're going to take out the background of this image or the image you want to make use of because i'll be using this horse and this phone to show you guys let's assume this is the shape we want to make use of all right this is the image we want to make use of and um i'm going to um take out this background all right so i've taken out this background actually so if you want to achieve this take out the background all right so we'll be going from this to this like i said earlier so i'm going to put the link of these images guys in the down description below for you guys to check it out all right so without any further ado let's jump straight to the video welcome to corridor guys so um this is what you're going to see if you're new to corridor guys please go and watch out this particular video i'm going to put the link somewhere for you guys to um, check it out all right if you're new to corridor so this is going to help you guys and um what we're going to do now is import um our stock images all right so to do that right click on this space and select import or you come over to file select import the shortcut is control i all right so go to import and this dialog box is going to come up so what you're going to do is basically um locate um where your files are safe so mine is saved on download so i'm going to just um select download and go to the folder where it's saved so what i'm going to do is i'm going to select all of this and um click on import and i'm going to basically drop this here and i'm going to scale this one up just right there and leave that to that so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to basically give this this color so we can basically have a good contrast of the of this all right so what i'm going to do is um i'm going to place this image here all right i'm going to place this image in here all right so um first of all guys what i'm going to do now is instead of importing this image all right because i want this image to be the same all right so what i'm going to do is i'm going to just make sure they are the same all right so i'm going to basically scale this up all right so what i basically did was to make sure they are the same like you know they are aligned so i'm going to basically keep this here for now so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to come over to this shape all right now we want to power clip this image to this but we want it pop out like it's it will show inside the um the frame but it's still outside like part of the image is outside so i'm going to show you guys how it's been done all right so first of all you're going to um, trace this um this shape over here so we're going to use our um free hand tool all right click on your free hand tool and come over to this space and basically um uh, trace out this you can use your paint tool to do it or you can use your um, rectangle tool also to achieve this all right so you're going to use your um, rectangle tool to achieve this all right so basically um select and basically bring this down bring this down bring this down bring this down and um, just trace it basically guys use any tool that you feel like that's going to work for you but i'm using my freehand tool to trace this all right so as you can see guys we can color this black so we can see we've traced this shape so what we're going to do now is um and as you can see guys it's not actually um straight but don't worry what we're going to do is um, we're going to basically um 
bring this select the phone all right so you hold your shift and select page up to bring it forward but before then before we do this let's leave it the way it is because we're going to place image into this um this this um this shape here so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to basically uh, make sure this is aligned this way all right so make sure it's aligned so if you select this press letter c letter e for center alignment all right so what you're going to do now is basically right click on this and select power clip then place it into this frame all right so basically now what you're going to do is right click on it and select edit power clip to go into the frame all right but as you can see it's not actually fitted to frame so what you're going to do is you're going to select all and make it fit to frame scale it up this way all right so this is the normal way we power clip images like power clip it but sometimes you will see images like it will be inside this um this frame but part of the image is outside all right now what you're going to do is once you go into this frame by clicking and select power clip you're going to copy this the one you um removed the background that, that has transparent why you still have the one with background all right so you're going to um, power, um sorry copy this copy the one without um background copy it all right so once you copy it then go out of the frame now paste it all right once you paste it select the image then go to um shape tool then use your shape tool and delete this node sorry don't delete it just drag it into the um, the frame then drag this one in here so basically guys as you can see this is how it's been done all right this is how it's basically been done so i'm going to use another example of image a real image to show you guys this example all right let's assume you're designing and you want to achieve this same thing with an image with a normal image instead of using this animal all right so um this is basically how to do this one actually so let's go into page two all right so i'm going to import an image to show you guys another example so now let's let's right click and import an image all right so let's select our download and select this image all right so i'm going to um basically place this here and place this here all right so basically guys this is an image which has the background this one is a transparent background as you can see now let's delete this one all right and leave this one here now if you notice in some designs in some in some designs you see let's assume we have um an over shape here let's give it this color all right let's assume we have this shape over here and sometimes basically you see with power clip images um just this way right click select power clip and um, place it in here then right click and select edit power clip then place it in here this is just the normal way which we power clip images in background i'm not telling you not to use this i'm just trying to show you um the other way around which we do it all right so let's assume this is here all right you can still use this for designs it's still okay it's still unique depending on what you are doing all right but if you still want to achieve this this particular one i want to show you guys this particular one now you're going to go into just the way we did in the first example now you're going to right click and select edit power clip copy this image all right but before you copy it you're going to make it um go out of the frame by scaling it up this way you're going to scale it up just to go out of the frame then copy it all right then go out of the frame so as you can see this one is actually um inside the frame but this one is going out of the frame but you want this um the the image come up outside this frame all right so what you're going to do is once you copy it you're going to paste it this way just as we did earlier then use your shape tool all right bring this one this way then bring this one here bring this one here and um, as you can see we still have this one and we still have this one but this is actually unique and of different shape anyway of different style and this one is of different style all right so if you want to achieve this you can still do it if you want to achieve this you can still do it so this is just the basic way which we um uh, which we do all all of this um these tricks all right in cover draw so in case you are new to this this is how to do it and congratulations for learning it all right you can actually uh, apply it to your designs all right you can apply it to your designs and um 
just wow with your client guys so don't forget guys subscribe to this channel if you have any question guys drop me a comment in the comment section below and um don't forget to like this video and see you guys in my next video